right, guys, it's Sergeant Josh. Welcome to the Well Rounded Warrior, and thanks for watching. All right, so uh, a little bit of gear change. Um, I'm going to uh, try out this Magpul uh, MS1 sling here. Um, I got this specifically because I didn't really want any attachment hardware uh, on it because I basically have my own. Uh, and that may change later on down the line, but for right now, uh, this MS1 is going to uh, suit my needs. All right, so. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put this sling on, but first uh, you can see that I've already got my tourniquet on it, which you'll, you'll need to do that uh, before you put the sling on. Uh, we'll do the easy end first, and that is the front. Alright, so what you see here is the front sling swivel. Uh, this is a Midwest rail, uh, this pick section and uh, sling mount or QD mount comes with this rail, it's a SS G3 I think. Um, so what we've got here is a QD, go ahead and put that on a rail. Now what a lot of people will do is, uh, is different, but this works for me. And, uh, I'm just going to show you how I do it. Uh, your mileage may vary. So how we're going to do this is we are going to come under, uh, under like that, and then we are going to come back through the triglide here making sure to pull enough back through like that and then we'll go ahead and pull that through there so it'll lock tight like that like that and uh, later on I'm going to come back and uh, use some electrical tape to tape that end down all right, so that's how we've got it set up on the front there. We have our we have our adjustability, and you can see on this sling right here we have one tri glide already on. We'll need that in that position, and we're going to move. So check it out. This is how we're going to do this. So the way we want our sling is we want it to come over the top and how I run it on this MOE sling. So I'm going to run it through the buttstock right here. Okay, I'm going to pull that through. Making sure that I still have it oriented correctly. Right? Now I'm going to put this other tri-glide on here. And what that's going to do is it's going to lock it from going back through the buttstock. However, this is very slick sling material, so we're going to have to do something else here. All right, we've got that on there. Go ahead and lock it in with this triglide. But, alas, it is still too slick. I can pull it through. So, that's where this triglide comes in. We'll go ahead and flip the rifle over. We'll run our tail up under the buttstock there. Run this tri-glide all the way down. We'll pull that up through the buttstock, make that tight. Pull it through. And then one more again. If I can get it. Wanted to keep it short because uh, I didn't want to have a lot to tape up. And that's just a little too short. But, here, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make that right. Go ahead and pull, pull some of that through. Sometimes you just gotta mess with them. Promise I had it on here right earlier. Alright, try it again. Alright, so pull it tight, run the sling underneath, pull it back through, run it through this tri glide. Run it through. And then run it back through again. And 
there you go. It will be very secure at that point. All right, so you'll see that it comes up over. Got here, it's off all your adjustability. And this may be too long yet. Um, I really haven't messed with it too much. I'll probably take some length out of this. All right, guys, well, hope you learned a little something today. You can see how I have my sling set up on my rifle. And uh, you can see right now it's adjusted all the way uh, tight. And uh, if I needed to adjust it to like maybe switch shoulders, swim out of that, and I could shoot from from this side. It's not ideal shooting from your offhand with a rifle when a sling never is. Um, but uh, I prefer a sling because it's much easier to live with the rifle. Um, don't worry about the sights because I got a red dot coming here very soon and I had them flip down so I didn't mar my desk up too much. So yeah, that's how I run mine. Uh, I'd like to see how you guys run yours. Just uh, make a video. Uh, and, uh, and let me know on Instagram. You can find me at uh, the Well Rounded Warrior. I'm pretty active there. I kind of been slacking off on videos because, uh, well, I got married, had annual training for the National Guard, and probably a million other excuses. So, uh, hope you like what you saw today. Uh, if you did, go ahead and click like uh, if you could. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and click uh, subscribe and ring the bell, and you'll get notifications when I post, which will hopefully be more than it has been. So. All right, guys, thanks again. Just remember, we want avoidance, deterrence, and de-escalation fail. A high rate of fire usually doesn't.